Alright guys, welcome back. Um, this is video number four on the series of creating a calculator through Java. Last time we did, um, we added the action listeners needed for the rest of the um, menu bar that we have. And we also added our display for the calculator, which obviously is just this. Um, so yeah, not really much done so far, but we'll definitely get there. Um, also one thing that we can already go ahead and change is back up at the copy. We can go ahead and, um, we can make it copy the display. So we're going to just do display.getText. Whoa, what is... Something's not right here. No, it's not. I think it's trying to. Yeah, I think it's trying to read. So if I go ahead and change this for a second. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's trying to read um, the same variable. I guess you can't really do that, which would make sense, I suppose. So I guess we can just go ahead and do something like temp display. Copy and paste that there. All right, which now it should um, obviously um, copy from the display in the text that we have. So if you're going to do a copy, and I open up a notepad here, and paste, we get a zero, which is great. So obviously that works just fine. And I guess we can go ahead and start setting up our buttons, which is a very tedious task, but you know, it, it has to be done. Um, if, a, if you see another window pop up, I am uploading a video, so sorry if it up if it opens up during the video, just quickly close it. Alright, so we're obviously going to add some J buttons. Um, I guess we can do, um, I guess I'll just go in order from top to bottom. So, very tedious task here. So, if you feel free to skip or pause or something, if you want to copy all this down or not hear me, sit here and type the whole time actually I think we'll just go ahead and do these three for now just to get a basic um, I guess a layout of how we're gonna do this um, so we send that that I guess we'll go ahead and have a send buttons method and we're gonna create that method and I'm too OCD so we're going to have to move this in the correct position which is under the display. Obviously, 7 is equal to a new J button. And obviously, it's going to take that as a... Um, we're going to pass that through the J button. Um, so we're going to have to do 7.setBounds. I always don't really like using setBounds. I could easily use a grid layout, but I really don't like using grid layouts. Um, I just feel set bounds is you have more control over it, I, I guess you could really say. Um, if we put that 10, 10, that's not going to work. I mean, we could do 10 this way, but we're going to have to do... We're going to have to do 60 down, since the um, display goes 50 down. Actually, no, the display goes 50 plus 10 is 60, so we're going to have to put this to 70. And the width of the button, I don't know, I guess we could just do a 45-45 for now, just to test uh, to see how it looks. And then, of course, we have to add the 7, and we're going to go ahead and run this. So it, it looks like a pretty good position, but I think it's a little small. Let's see how we're going to set this up. Let's see, we have 7, 8, 9... We'll have the basics here. Hmm. 
trying to think how we can do this. Let's see, let's go ahead and make this like 65 to 65. Hmm. Is that too big though? Seven, six, three. Oh no, no, it's one. Seven, four, one. Zero decimal plus minus. Clear. Hmm. See, we need the four buttons and an equal sign. But this is going to be one, two, three, four by itself. Maybe if we did like this. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think we'll do it like that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it like that, see how that turns out. All right, so then let's go ahead and do an eight is equal to new J button. I promise you the time just flies right now. Eight dot set downs. Obviously, we're going to have to do, um, it can't be 10, it has to do, uh, 65 plus 10 is, I don't know, 55 plus 10 is 65, so I think we're going to have to do 75 there, the rise are going to have to stay the same, and then we're going to have to copy 55, Add eight. I think that's correct. I'm close, but it's not correct. Um, eighty five. Let's go and run that. No, 80 probably then. Hmm. I think 85 was good. No, maybe like 82. Yeah, 82 is pretty good. Alright, so we have 7 and 8. And then we'll go ahead and pull the 9 in there. Nine dot set bounds. So adding twelve to the X seventy two I meant. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, of course, so one fifty two, seventy, sixty five, fifty five, and we're gonna add the nine button. I feel like this doesn't match. Because it doesn't, because I didn't add the. F that's supposed to be a four. There we go. That looks good. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's what we're gonna do. I think that's how our layout's gonna be. So I guess we have time to go ahead and make those buttons work. Um, I don't want to make up. I don't. I don't want to take up a lot of space here. So I guess I'll just do it all inside right here. Um, yeah, might as well. So we're gonna have to do seven dot add action listener new action listener like so. Then add unimplemented method. Looks kind of dirty. Just the way it all looks, but I don't know, better than most calculators I see on YouTube. <laughs> Some of them are really good. Um, so obviously we're going to do, um, you, when you click on a 7, it's going to have to play. So we're going to do display, and it's going to be append. Um, and we're just going to make it append 7. So 
So boom. Oh, that's pretty good. You don't want that zero to be in front, and obviously it goes off the screen here. Um, so let's see if uh, display dot get text dot equals ignore case. So what that means right there is um, if the display is nothing but a zero, basically, we're going to make it set the text to seven. So we're going to do um, display dot set text. And if you don't know what the difference between these two, this one and this, this completely makes it seven. It doesn't do seven, and when you click the seven again, there's two sevens. It's just seven, one seven. A pin, it's you click. You, if you click the seven button twice, you will have two sevens up there. So that's what that means. Um, so we're gonna make that return so it doesn't also append. Um, let's see the link thing. If display dot get text dot length is greater than I don't know how many things go up there. I, maybe about thirteen. I'm just assuming. We're just gonna make that completely return so you can't do anything. Um, so let's go ahead and try that out. So that works just good. I think that was perfect. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen? Oh, that's perfect. That was perfect. I got that right. All right. Um, and we can go ahead and do the rest for the eight and the nine. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. We're going to add action listener. Of course, we have to add that. And then we can just do paste. All this would, all this would stay the same, but change the sevens to your eights. And same thing with nine. New action listener. If you're still a little bit behind, feel free to um, pause the video or ask a question, send me a message, I don't care if I'm going a little too fast here, but I think this is a pretty good speed because like I said before, this is for people that already have some knowledge of what they are doing. So obviously eight works, nine, all this works. You can't go past that limit, which is really nice. And obviously everything else is going to work. So there we go. We have our basic buttons there, but we have to add the rest in. Um, pretty easy to do, not going to lie. Um, this looks like that should be everything that's needed for now. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching, and watch out for uh, video number four that should be coming out soon. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then.